And we're live! Hi everybody! If you're gonna pop in now or not. Um, yeah, so I decided to go a little bit, uh, to go live a little bit earlier as well because uh, I have got to do the edits on um, the descriptions. So I'm, I'm just gonna edit that for the moment. Um, but hello everyone! Uh, we are still getting ready, um, so yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's gonna take us some time to, to, to um, normally what we do uh, to get ready for these live streams are to actually, um, has it already been a week? Hey Raymond, thanks for popping by. Yes, it has. <laughs> yeah, so uh, good afternoon. Um, so Cheryl's updating the Facebook and social media stuff on that end whilst um, uh, I'm gonna edit some of the uh, um, description stuff on the channel on this this face uh, YouTube thing. I was about to say Facebook, oops. Um, but yes, let me know if you guys can all hear me okay. And um, yeah, let me just update. Uh, we've, we've got a small Funko Pop haul today. Um, some little quick stuff to show you guys. Um, hang on, uh, I cannot multitask. <laughs> uh, there are some Tomica cars that I have. Um, and what else do we have? We have... Hang on. Uh, and we've got a box as well. We also have a box. A very magical box from Evernals. So if you guys don't know Evernals, he's been watching our channel as well for quite some time already. Um, and there are some pretty... Oh, you can hear myself in the background. Um, and, and, and it's pretty cool stuff from Evernals as well. So we had him help us buy something um, on the interwebs. And of course, he's given us some other stuff in that box as well. So thank you very much, um, Evernals, for that too. Um... And in that box, we have quite some cool stuff. I will show it to you guys later. Um, I'm very excited to show you guys as well. Um, so yes, how is everyone doing on a Sunday um, afternoon? It has been a week since our last live stream. And in our last live stream, we showed you guys uh, some pretty cool stuff from... Uh, um, that we got in a box from Angel. Um, he sent us a ton of chasers, um, which I am now trying to figure out where in the room should I put it. Um, let me know. And I just realized I have these sleepy eyes in the thumbnail of the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My thumbnail is like... <laughs> As if it's not Asian enough. Um, hi, Sam Poopy. Cool name. Um, wait, yo, hello, hello, Evan knows what's up. Thanks for dropping in, and hey, Angel. I think the the whole crew's here already, right? <laughs> but yeah, we are going to be starting in a moment. Uh, we're doing some last minute uh, um, sharings onto social media, and then we're gonna see where that goes. Um, how many of you guys are already following our Facebook and Instagram page because if you are not, please follow our Facebook and Instagram page. I think it's the first place where you get um, information on all these kind of stuff that we do as well as pictures of random stuff that we take. Um, so please follow Facebook and Instagram. Um, alongside that, uh, what else do we... Yeah, for, for um, um, the big cartel store, again that's, that's up and primed for upload already. Uh, so we're gonna prime and, and put some stuff up for sale there. But again, um, for in more information on what's gonna go up for sale, um, just check out our social media channels. And when that happens, then we can all. Um, oh, Louis says he's watching. Hi, Louis. <laughs> Hi, Louis. Hi, guys. 
Let me just ping Tom oh. Messenger. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, so um, please find out. Um, for the Big Cartel store, I just want to <laughs> give you guys a quick sneak. We're, we're intending to do sort of like a team version kind of thing. One day in Singapore? Yeah, so... Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a team version uh, kind of thing. So for example, it could be a Funko team and we're going to sell some Funko products. And it could be a team within the team. Like Funko oh, team and yeah, yeah, like Funko gonna... Horror? Oh yes, yeah, or two packs. Like I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, uh, and we're gonna try and do collaborations with um, maybe other members of the community or other toy stores out there as well. Uh, it's gonna be awesome because, you know, we can always do uh, um, teamed um, sales based mm -hmm. on um, artists and stuff like that to actually help out the whole designer toy ecosystem yep, yep, yep. as well. So that is cool. Oh, um, where's the pop? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> no, it's not there. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> so an acquaintance of ours has managed to get us uh, something pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's something that I think a lot of people were asking as well for us. Uh, Louise says no crushes. <laughs> 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 try not to. <laughs> yeah. uh, Eric, hello. Uh, is that an Earth Day Wall E? Yes. Oh yeah. However, this one over here is mm -hmm. the International Exclusive Edition. So this one comes with the International Exclusive sticker. I would still want... Um, the, the original box lunch sticker. Yeah, also because that, that be has cool. quite it's a special lunch, right? sticker, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, that, there we go. Um, wait, wait here says, show me your Tech 63 collection. I, I actually don't have a very huge Tech 63 collection. Oh, yeah. We do have something nice, though. Um, all I have is, as in from the Tech 63, mm -hmm. or rather from Quix, is this one, which is the Manila Killer. It's the... How big is it? Five six, in, inch? six inch yeah. edition uh, of the Manila Killer, and mm -hmm. he is sitting right by the computer. Yeah, this table. one came from Philippines ToyCon. It is the uh, ToyCon exclusive colorway. Yep. Yeah. So um yeah, and and uh, I I had to get it because I thought it was pretty cool it that, was. Uh, that he actually and it sold it really, really quickly the Philippines well. flag, and mm -hmm. um, that's pretty cool. And I also got a Evangelion colored Shako and Remy. Did not get the chase, but it is cool enough, and I had uh, Quick's design. Yeah. On both. Um, products for me as well. For and, those uh, who were wondering, the Chase version has like the red eyes. Yeah, and it's called the Berserk Edition. Yeah. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, that's as far as I have for mm -hmm. um, Quick's products. Um, we actually help a friend purchase the big um, 10, 12 inch I think model. It's 12, yeah. yeah. 10, 12, or 12 inch uh, um, Tech 63 Vanilla Killer. It's kind of huge as mm -hmm. well. And that actually went over to um, 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 the States. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Uh, anyways, let me just put that back for a second. It's, it's, it's going to crowd the table. Um, yeah. Uh, Evan says thanks for the stuff yesterday. For sure, dude. Hope you enjoy it. Um, Angel asks, collaboration, huh? Maybe Angel can ship his extra Marvel, Ooh. DC, and uh, Disney and DC sticker pop so you can stuff for a decent price in Singapore. Just an idea. We can definitely explore that. Yeah. Ah, I mean, it's still the early days of this. Uh, we don't know and we have to find a sweet spot for a big cartel. Mm -hmm. Especially like, so we're trying see. to figure out the payment yeah. options and the shipping options as well. Yeah. Um, Sam Poopy <laughs> says, show us your Infinity War connection. I am so sorry, I snapped <laughs> both hands and I don't have any. Yeah. Uh, I, we don't have much actually. No, we don't. We yeah. do have a Thor. <laughs> oh, we do? Yeah. That guy. <laughs> yeah, they got I think there. that's as far as the uh, Infinity War. I, I do have like a mystery mini of Thanos. Alright. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. It's not here though. Yeah, but there we go. Mm -hmm. This is the one. Uh, this is Simply Toys edition for the Glow in the Dark version. Yeah, I, I do actually like yeah. the, the baby or little girl Gamora. It's kind of like a new release of the pop. Oh, really? I don't know if you've oh, seen I it. Yeah, not, they yeah, only yeah, have just yeah. mock ups of that, not the actual pop. Oh, yet, okay. But I might just get that because she's so cute. That's pretty cool. Mm hmm. Let, let, let me know everyone, uh, <laughs> if you have the link to that, please paste that in the it's comment section Pop's below. It's this as well, I think they recently oh, really? uploaded some pictures. Okay, yeah. it's pretty cool. Anyways, let's begin, mm -hmm. um, before we show you some awesome, uh, uh, um, um, joyous, chickeny kind of pop, let's begin with uh, some other stuff that we've gotten yeah. within the week. So Cheryl! Within the week has actually gone to queue for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so That's my cool. workplace is actually pretty near Vivo City. So when cool. they released news about it, I so happened to be able to just pop right down to Vivo right. City. I think I was there around like 6.30, so it wasn't like super early because they're releasing this one at 7 p.m. Right. Yeah, and there was really a queue there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, wow. so it was pretty amazing. There wasn't a lot of pieces there. I think like 8 
or six. I can't Not remember. Not everybody works on the weekdays. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> anyway, this is Sugar Bear uh -huh. um, by Post uh, a Golden Golden Crisp. Yeah, so I managed to get one of these. This one is going to a fellow friend of ours. Yeah. So yeah, lucky you. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, and oh, this one comes with the special edition sticker yeah. as well. So that's well, one thing cool. I thought was pretty interesting was that the shirt color is very obviously very different from oh, the yeah, one on the that's Yeah, true. on the box. That's yeah. true. So I'm not sure true. whether like this is the more accurate shirt color and this right. is just like a. So again, yeah, uh, what, what Charles away. is saying, the shirt color for this is different from the shirt color there. So mm -hmm. you can see. Wow. I, I don't know. This, yeah. this is pretty interesting. Should I pop into it? Right, yeah, let's do yeah. it. Wait, so this is going to someone? Yeah, this is. Oh, okay. I don't even know our... <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yeah, oops. Oh, this is tight. That's what she said. Right, that's what she said. <laughs> I guess it's good that the, the quality of the boxes is getting is. better. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Mm, maybe, maybe. Okay, so Post, I think it's a cereal brand. Right. In the US, it's not very well like known here. I think we do have some brands, but not the sugar or the golden crips that's oh. on this one. Anyway, um, sugar bear does not come with a stand. No, it does not. So let's go up into close-up cam to check it out. I'm gonna unhinge the camera and very shaky hands. Um, there we go. That is sugar bear. There's a little bit of a paint. Ah, oh, yikes. There. Okay. But it's alright. Yeah, he, still does look he pretty stands cool. pretty well. Yeah, he's got his. Uh, and he's holding on to. I think that's that? the golden crisps. Oh, that's golden crisps. Yeah, ah. it, it kind of looks like peanuts, right? <laughs> that is true. It yeah, does look like or peanuts. like washed out coffee beans. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take a closer look a bit. Um, so other than his sweater being kind of like the main point and the crisps he's holding, mm -hmm. there's nothing super a lot he's else got, to like, see. He's got like pretty cute like curly hair. Yeah, that's true yeah, And like um, very goofy smile and eyebrows. Yes. That's also looking nice. half drunk. <laughs> oh yeah, he does look half drunk. Slightly drunk. We all yeah. look half drunk all the time anyways. <laughs> Um, but anyways, the Ad Icon series is pretty cool. I, I am not sure. Mm -hmm. um, but, but we are thinking that, um, you know, there might be, again, uh, we, we, we have seen Tony the Tiger having oh yeah that's good yeah. okay tony the tiger having a flop version mm -hmm. uh so we're not sure if the rest of the ad icons um, yeah will sugar bear would look in. pretty good flopped i think because like yeah. furry bear and if i'm not wrong these are this is the target exclusive yes this right? was it's released sorry, if okay. i'm not wrong together with uh what's that avoid the noise Oh, yeah? and Bazooka Joe. Right. I think there's also another ad icon which is the Captain Crunch. Yeah. But I kind of like got news that that might not be reaching Singapore. Oh yeah. Yeah, so for those of you guys who managed to get in the US congrats. I think for the others who are in Singapore, maybe you could wait for a pop culture okay. drop. Right. Yeah, or any like additional news like maybe they might just get a couple of shipments for Okay. That. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of pictures of this all over Reddit, so I yeah, guess it's a... I, I think uh, it's a hot favourite of the Americans. So. Oh, I am not sure if it's actually just tough to get. Yeah, yes. it could be, because like, there's yeah. always like, work going around that Target Pops are like super difficult to get. Is that true yeah, though? Yeah, and I then am the not staff so are like sure. hogging the items, they're always losing oh, the boxes. Oh yeah, I always hear yeah. that. I mean, it's kind of like the horror story stuff, but thank, thank God we don't have that in Singapore though. Yeah. yeah. Not yet. But, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I, I really, it goes like crazy. Really, yeah. I mean, at least the I really staff not, don't though. like hold, I guess, not yeah. that much or not that openly. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, back in the protector it goes and it's probably going to go to uh, a friend of ours. In yeah. The, um, let's see. Uh, 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 if you're getting little Gamora, you need the 10-inch Thanos. Uh, yeah, that's true, yeah. Oh, we tried mm. to... Uh, uh, um, win one. <laughs> yeah, we tried to win one last week, which is why we have this cute bag from Simply Toys yeah. over here. So again, so it was um, called the Hong Pao Draw. Hong mm. Pao is a red, red packet. packet. So it's like kind of like a lucky draw kind of thing where you mm. actually draw uh, a random red packet out inside it. Uh, red packet's kind of like an, an envelope, uh, if I'm... If I'm yeah, correct. it's kind of <laughs> a, a tradition we practice during yeah. Chinese New Year where the adults would give little kids yeah. Uh, a little bit of pocket money so or like a little bit of yeah. Um, yeah, money. <laughs> or sometimes, like say for example, at birthdays or events where you want to give um, the host or, or, or the birthday, birthday boy or girl yeah. um, um, cash, some cash. Yeah, you yeah. don't hand that person cash. You hand mm -hmm. them in a red packet. But mm -hmm. 
that's kind of how it works here, I yeah, think. Yeah, Chinese um, So is... there was a whole huge stack of bitch uh, mm -hmm. at uh, Serangoon next. Uh, yeah, they used to hold like yeah. almost, I think, seven or eight waves at Vivo City. Right. But people would grab them like during non work hours, and by the time we got uh -huh. there, there wouldn't be any uh, rare items left. Yeah. So we we're super happy when they finally did one at next, which is super oh, close yes. to our place. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, in, in any case, uh, uh, we went down, and, mm -hmm. and if you actually bought three, um, of these red packet draws kind of thing, um, you get a chance to win a ticket to, <laughs> as in there will be a draw, there will be yeah. a big lucky draw and you'll get a chance to win a ticket to um, next year's SDCC and, and Funko Fun Days. So that's really cool. Yeah, wow, yeah. But anyways, <laughs> so um, for a more short term goal mm -hmm. or a short term fun kind of thing, uh, what we could have won was mm -hmm. um, some pretty cool stuff, including, including this. this. I don't have the picture uh, but, we, but, I but we did not win that though. That was, yeah, that was ours already. Mm. Instead, what we got was... <laughs> yeah, we cleared out some pops of them. <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, this uh, GITD exclusive um, Aquaman? silhouette Aquaman. Silhouette, yeah. It's a, yeah, I, I think right. there's one other one that we have, which is Batman. Uh, Batman. Oh, well, we got one. that signed by, um, what's his name again? Neil, <laughs> Neil Adams. <laughs> yeah, in Philippine Sarkon. <laughs> Cheryl wasn't thinking at all. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> totally forgot the name. Yeah. Um, but there we go. So we had that signed by Neil Adams. Mm -hmm. um, this one is the Batman. The reason why version. we picked this one was because Neil Adams is known for his blue version of Batman. And we only could find like yeah, we couldn't find out. Batman, <laughs> yeah. so we decided okay, at least like blue eyes work out yeah. fine as well. So that's pretty. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna open this, guys. I, I just think that's gonna be uh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, I, we, I think this stop. one is clearing out for a super low price at some shops. Yeah. I think Action City is selling this for two for one for one at ten dollars each. I'm oh, not very God. sure. <laughs> Alright, that's yeah. Not, yeah, that doesn't make us feel any better about our budget. Yeah. But any, any, at least any it case. glows in the dark. Oh, at least. <laughs> yeah. Um, next up, we have um, from Star Wars actually. So if you actually realize uh, we stopped buying Star Wars Pops because yeah. it's it gotten got crazy. Yeah. Um, so we kind of stopped on that. But anyways, um, Rose from the recent Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi. Um, this is an Imperial outfit, the one Imperial where she's outfit, yes. spoilers um, snuck on their Imperial ship. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, cool. I, uh, I'm happy to get this actually. Mm -hmm. I think um, we'll probably just keep it so <laughs> Maybe <laughs> with all the other Star Wars pops over there. But yeah. anyway, um, in any case, if you're looking for any of these to trade with, um, let us know. Yeah. You might actually have something we want and you might actually want this. And last but not least, we do have, speaking of Gamora, Gamora and Strider, not the Gamora we want. Yeah, so, this is um, in the game Capcom vs. Marvel. Yeah, Marvel yeah. vs. Capcom Infinite, actually. It's a two pack. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I actually yeah. quite like the Captain Marvel <laughs> yeah. vs. Chun Li one in this one. Ooh, there's a Captain and Rocket vs. Oh, yeah. Spider Man. Yeah, but I guess this is pretty cool. I'm not sure who Strider is, though. Oh, the Monster Hunter one, though. Yeah, That's those are super cool. detailed. They also come in a lot of colorways. <laughs> yeah. So how many of you guys actually got this one? But mm -hmm. the fact that I think it went into an on-pile draw kind of means that mm, yeah. yeah, sales probably uh, don't also, do super Also, with well. this on -pile draw, I think it's the first time they actually added in some basic pops. Usually they're all exclusives. So oh. I think it's pretty lucky that we got like most of them as exclusives. Exclusives, yeah. That's yeah. a good point. That's a very good point. And um, they also yeah. changed the format of this on -pile draw. I think oh, really? the person that buys the last on -pile also gets a guaranteed Thor in the dark, the one with the hammer. What's that called? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stormbreaker, right? Stormbreaker. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that Stormbreaker? I think so. I'm just <laughs> mouthing off. The yeah. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah. But it's very cool. I, I, we are still happy to be able to get this mm -hmm. tree in any case. It could be worse. So, um, again, if you are interested in training for any of this, um, let us know. Yeah, and the Ampals are only going for $15 each. So, right. I think it's a pretty decent price considering right. that. Like a regular basic pop itself is 16 Yeah, already. exactly. Yeah. So it's not that bad. Okay, <laughs> let me just keep this up first mm -hmm. before moving on to the last thing that we want to show you. Last Again, this is, least, yeah. yeah, this is brought to us um, by an acquaintance, by a very good friend of ours. Mm -hmm. uh, we've only got one of these, so just go easy on us. But <laughs> I love it yeah. a lot because... Hi, Anthony! 
Oh, hey, Anthony. Hey. It is the Jolly Bee Pop. Jing, 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 jing. Uh, <laughs> What's the jingle for Jolly Bee? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't remember, man. But it is fantastic. I love Jolly Bee, uh -huh. especially the ones in the Philippines. And I was so bummed out that the last time around we went there, I only got to eat once. Yeah. Um, we were we, trying to eat it once when we land and once when we leave. Yeah, but nah, it, just, it just didn't yeah. exactly oh, happen. If so. you guys um, want to eat Jollibee when you leave, eat it while you're not checked in yet. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. the there's, no, the there's no jolly bee on the air side. That means yeah. if you've actually checked in, you can't really get any of it. Mm -hmm. um, let's take a second before showing you guys jolly bee. Mm -hmm. um, did you buy any toys in Taipei? Yes, we bought yes. a few toys in Taipei. Um, we burst do... our budget. <laughs> yeah. I remember I was borrowing money from yeah. him so I could buy my items. <laughs> do check out our channel. Yeah. Uh, click on the videos tab. Um, if you look actually at the past videos within January period, mm -hmm. those are when we were in Taiwan, yeah. in Taipei. And um, um, the live stream right after that mm -hmm. um, is where you can see our haul from Taipei. Yeah. yeah uh, we normally do a live stream uh -huh. haul. Maybe they might make right appearance again here and there, but yeah, fabrics in Taipei is really, really easy to get. And it's cheaper, cheaper a well. little bit. Yeah. Like a little bit compared mm -hmm. to here in Singapore. So if you're actually in the market for that, um, I think you should check yeah. it out. Yeah. Um, Let's see, uh, what are you drinking then? Oh, this is a oh. drink from, <laughs> it's from Malaysia. Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually Cheryl's dad that bought a bunch of this back. Uh, it's sour plum? It's called Green Love. Is it Green Love? Yeah, it's, it, it's a sour plum <laughs> juice realized. drink. Uh, Asam Boy. I don't know, it says here Asam Boy, literally don't. <laughs> yeah. So just reading off it. Uh, it's really nice, and the interesting thing is one of these bottles costs just... 10 cents? Okay. Nah, cents? not 20 no? cents, yeah, maybe about 30 to 50 cents. Oh, okay. So it's not bad <laughs> Yeah. 30 to 50 cents for one of these, but you're not gonna get that in it's Singapore. It's very intense yeah. though. I usually it drink yeah. it with like a cup full of ice, and I let the ice melt. Yeah, yeah, but right, he, he thinks it's strong. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it, it is very cool. So, if yeah, yeah, any one of you guys are I'm visiting... Not sure, I don't think they sell it in Singapore. No, they don't. Yeah, but if you guys go the, to JB and go to like Giant... It's Giant, yeah. Yeah, Giant is a those. supermarket, by mm -hmm. the way. But there's a supermarket in the Singapore that sells a drink just like that from the same brand, but they don't carry the sour plum one. So oh, I'm not sure I think it's it could be that they sell. That's right. Decent as well. But it could be because um, of some food thing. So yeah, Singapore very is very strict on yeah, yeah. On, f on 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 food and stuff like that. <coughs> uh, anyways, let's get to this. I am very excited because um. Going by current valuations of this on the internet, I, I have no idea that yeah. it's gotten that mad. What's wrong with everyone? Because uh, if I am not wrong, mm -hmm. um, this is not... 90, I think? It, it is not a limited um, it, it is piece not, run, is it? Uh, it's, it's not, not a though. numbered edition. Oh. Yeah, there yeah. is a numbered one that is... That is the metallic one, which is going at 4,000 pieces. Alright, Raymond, safe driving first. Safe driving, okay. always safe driving. Yeah. Um, yeah, there is a metallic one that's going to be up and coming. It is $100 and that's on, on um, Pop Price Guide. Guide. Right? If Let's I'm not find wrong, out how much. Dashpedia it. is close, 90? Um, I always thought Stashpedia has the valuations a little uh, bit more expensive, though I don't understand the differences between that as well. But I think it's on um, There we go. So yeah. uh, Jolly Bee Pop over here on Stashpedia is going for 89 US dollars and um, 100 Dollars, my goodness, what is going on? <laughs> that is on um, Pop Price Guide. Yeah. So, um, it is crazy. Maybe, maybe just a little bit of context. In Philippines, when this was released, it caused a huge amount of people queuing up for this. Oh, people yes. queued up from like 6 hours to 8 hours for the first release. That's Secondly, they stuff. did a little bit better with the format. And I think they queued like 2 or 3 hours. And when they hit the stores, within a couple of hours, they were totally sold out. Oh, Louis just yeah. said that Met Metallic is released today. Ah, nice. That's pretty cool. I think I saw it in the in the Funko group as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, so I, I think I saw a picture of the Metallic Jollibee going for, I think, 500 USD. Yeah, it's crazy. But the Metallic one is going to be super exclusive because you oh, have to have, mad. if I'm not wrong, a Big Boy's red card. Big um, Boy! <laughs> yeah, Big Boy! <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what's the exact condition to get a red card, but it's a very exclusive. Um, yeah, it's really hard to get them. Yeah. And only Big Boy's carries them. If I'm not wrong, they're probably, probably like sold out. Really. There's some genius that's selling the Metallic one for 500 USD. 500, right? Yeah. yeah, right now on, not, on eBay. Not a single genius, it's a couple. Oh, there's two geniuses! <laughs> yeah, <God. but laughs> yeah, I, I well my, my two cents Fitters on it... are rampant everywhere. Yeah, but my two cents on it is that given how 
um, crazy people queued up for the mm. non-metallic one, I'm guessing the metallic one would be even like crazy in terms of how much people would want it. Right. Yeah, and given that it's numbered, whereas the non-exclusive one, if it's not numbered, it's usually ranging from like maybe 30k right. to 50k pieces. Okay. Yeah, but um, the collector like uh, base in Philippines, people might not be quite aware of it, but it's huge. Like... Um, the Fanatics group in Philippines has, I think, 14,000 people. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's, that's the and other thing, though. And considering that... And it's, it's yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Knowing how yeah. rare it is, people would just want more than one piece, right? And then that there are true. collectors that are not within Philippines that, that might, might want a couple as well. Yeah, so I think that um, 30 to 50k pieces would be very easily accounted for yep. already. Yeah, That is so. true. Alright, given that, I, mm. I guess... That's, but yeah, we're still just glad to have one here with us. Yeah. Um, let's... <laughs> Uh, open this. I'm gonna open this and show you guys because I am so. I- I'm kind of nervous because like I did see pictures of Jollibee having broken wings. <laughs> the what's with that? Yeah. I-, I don't know. Um, let's see. First, hang on. They are using the Kuji format now. Anthony ah. is um re- uh, referring to the Ichiban Ang Pao, yeah. yeah, yeah, the Ang Pao ones. Mm-hmm. Um, Strider Hiyu is one of my mains in Marvel vs. Oh, Capcom nice. 2. Nice, is he Angel. good? <laughs> I don't know, man. I actually don't really play Marvel yeah. vs. Capcom very much. But I hear they are going to be releasing. Oh Switch. no, they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. The Switch mm-hmm. is Super Smash Brothers. I'm so sorry. <laughs> How did I get that mixed up? Um. And Angel says a hundred uh, and ten. I'm and guessing ten the pen would OB be average. uh with shipping. What's OB? What's OB? I don't know. Um, David says <laughs> hi. What time is it where you are? It is currently one o seven p.m. Yeah. Here in Singapore, mm-hmm. or in this part of Asia. Yeah. Uh, uh, where is oh wait no wait hang on, uh five hundred USD for metallic. Let me check my wallet. I don't ah! know if we're gonna. Yeah. <laughs> it's made in China, dude. Oh, it's made in China? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, also, here it is. Check it out. I think it's really, really well designed. Ah, I like it. Yeah, I very like, like the Ed Icon Jolly. I want the... I want to eat the Jolly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show you guys. Yeah. Um, there we go. Alright, so over here we have his chef hat. Check it out. He's got his fillers yeah, on the table. Yeah, so that. cute. Uh, he's happy. He's I, trying to sell you chicken. I, I like how he has blusher on, and oh, his yeah. is so adorable. That is true. Yeah, his eyes seems to be slightly bigger than the regular pop as well in terms of the like the black area. Right. Yeah, it seems to com- com- like um make out a larger percentage of the face. Cause it's like a bee though. I yeah, guess. Yeah. Yeah. He's also wearing like a half tuxedo. And, yeah. Uh, no pants. <laughs> yeah. He yeah, does have is, a black bow tie though. That is true. A black bow tie. Uh, he's got his gloves, his feet, his his little boots kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and of course at the back, two little wings. Oh, I do like how they made his tux um having that little triangle at the back. Oh right. Do you see yeah. that? Well fitted. Nice, nice tux stuff. you have. Yeah. Jollibee. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, that is the Jolly Bee Pop. Mm-hmm. Um, again. I really like his pose. Yes. I think they did a good job with like the, the fingers as well. It's just not like a hand like that. Alright. But yeah, there's some sort of like, yeah, action with the fingers. But yes, I think uh, uh, I'm very happy with this. Yeah, this is also exactly how the Jolly Bee is being displayed outside uh, like a Jolly Bee shop. Yeah, there is right. like a huge mascot size. And this is the exact pose they have, so... Pretty oh wait, is that right? There. Really? Yeah! Oh, cool! Mm-hmm. Okay. I like, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I do want to eat Jolly Bee now. <laughs> oh no, I guess, I guess we, we have decided what we have for lunch. Uh, depends though. Yeah. Depends though. I've got to go pick up some stuff mm-hmm. later. Um, okay, let me just... Oh dear. I'm just trying to fit that in again. Uh, okay. Mm. We're done. Um, so yeah. Happy to do that. Um, how many pieces did you guys get? One. Just this one. Um, jealous. Ah, yeah, but it's awesome though. I, yeah, I, oh, I, I, I was oh, so pumped that we managed to get this. It's gone missing. Um, Indo says that has, <laughs> has to be one of the yeah, happiest pops ever. It's yes, made like true. some people really, 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 really happy as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, thanks for prop- Thanks dropping. for dropping in. Yeah, I'm like, I wanted to show the like uh, Toki Doki stuff on screen today, but I left it in my other bag. Shit. Alright. Um, oh yeah, so we got a mm-hmm. reminder uh, from our good buddy that uh, this is also a 40th anniversary. Yeah, we have yeah. not shown the outside of the box. Oh, we have not. Okay, I will show that right <laughs> yeah. now. I, I actually want to highlight on a couple of things. Oh. Yeah. One, oops, sorry about it, is the awesome sticker. Hang on, let me just focus that in. It's it's kind of difficult to focus on the 
Still not focusing. Oh, come on, in. iPhone X, you can do better than this. <laughs> it's not iPhone X, it's a YouTube app. Oh, it's a YouTube app. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, but yeah, you get, the, you get the point. There's mm -hmm. a 40 years of Jollibee sticker yeah. bringing joy to the world. So That's kind of like the... The reason why this is like talked about is also because there's a lot of speculation going about how many releases of this there oh. are. So there is already a, a sort of like a... Like a revelation that there will be a second wave so the first wave totally sold out second wave people were asking like would they have like the exact same uh, post the exact same sticker so will that they? hasn't been confirmed yet oh. but we know for sure that because this year is the 40th year anniversary for Jollibee right. um, there is a high chance that it will have the same sticker oh. but if there is any wave that's released after this year I think high chance that there will not be this sticker ah yeah. okay so that's, one that's thing. true though I yeah. mean it doesn't make sense for them to actually put a 40th Year anniversary sticker on a it's non 40th. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense. They might have a 41st year nah, anniversary maybe it's kinda, sticker. Nah, that'd be ugly and purposely. Yeah, I know, but right? I, I, I still like this. So I'm, I'm just glad we managed to get the first wave of it. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah, and the, the box itself is pretty right? standard. It's just, I think, his. Um, what is his, his his iconic words? Right. Yeah, and then we do have the Jolly Bee um icon over here. I always wondered whether um the Jolly Bee B icon is always like towards the back or because they couldn't fit um the B without exceeding the top part of the box. <laughs> oh, but there you have it. That's yeah, kind of the but it's still nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, hang on. Let me just. Okay, we're back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh dear. And okay. this is number thirty. I, oh, I don't yes. know actually like what um like what's the decision making process when people select the number for My guess is uh, just that. Uh if there is an open number, mm -hmm. um they the, can choose it. They can it. choose it. I, I I'm just trying to think so. Yeah. Yeah, because if not it doesn't make sense how all these work. That's true. Um oh Vanessa says she was tuning in just when we were showing the sugar bear. Hey uh, she <laughs> wants the sugar bear. I think it's kinda out of stock. I'm not yeah, sure if it's out of stock. We got a very very small allocation yeah. to Singapore. I'm not sure if there will be any more though. But yeah. um, I think, yeah, those ran out really quick, didn't it? It's yeah, crazy. it ran out really, really quickly. Yeah, it ran out really quickly. Everything is um, on the floor by 7pm. Yeah. yeah, and Captain Crunch. That, that also ran out really quickly. Oh uh, no, right? Captain Crunch is not released in Singapore. As of now and as of any like mm. uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's not released in Singapore. Yeah, so check it out for like other places if they sell them as right. they release them. Yep. Um, November is the second wave for the Jolly Yes, Bee. it is. For Jolly Bee? Yeah. Oh, cool. See, Vanessa seems is more in the loop <laughs> than I am. Then you are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. November at least it will still be within yeah. this year. So I think that's a good chance that it will be with the right. same sticker. Although I think it would be nice to kind of like reward the first bunch of people who queued like 8 hours for it for their oh, first yeah, 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 like yeah. wave of Jolly Bee Pop. So I'm not sure whether they will like try and make oh, a different man. sticker for the second wave. We'll see. Yeah. I hope so though. Mm -hmm. That'll be a nice touch to it. But if they had printed like thousands of stickers already, I don't think that. Yeah, that's true as well. Yeah. Um, so we'll Tens see. of thousands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, the Bruce Lee release date, uh, Angel says, the Bruce Lee release date, our release has the same anniversary as the first run. And I'm sure the gold one is the same. Mm. Mm, that's pretty yeah, I, sure. yeah, but we're still trying to get our hands on the, um, the nunchucks. nunchucks. I, I've managed, managed to set up a trade for that. Oh, nice! Yeah. <laughs> um, there is yeah. just one more Bruce Lee that we are left. I think the, it's the, the kicking, kicking one, one, right? Yeah, the one yeah. that's Okay, let's I, hope I'm we actually can get more that. inclined towards like the colored uh, Bruce Lee. I think I like oh, how yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like the, the original one, yeah. but I mean, the but gold I, one is a good one. I think it's kind of like a since we are already done. Yeah, the um, we, we and have we have every single Bruce Lee pretty except much 80%, for the two. Yeah. So why not, right? Mm -hmm. um, um, let's just grab it. I yeah. don't know. If we got um, yeah. like access to it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, this is going to be kept very safe. Mm. Uh, but moving on, before we continue, uh, yesterday we tested out a quick Kuji thing. <laughs> um, it's uh, it's called uh, Sumiko Grashi. Yeah, it's from it's, Japan. Yeah, it's this we managed to get this pouch. Uh, Cheryl managed to get this pouch. <laughs> yeah, so just one thing about Kuji, usually they have pretty crafty prizes like keychains and like yeah, they, uh, coasters, yeah. handkerchiefs, yeah. pals. It is pretty crafty. Yeah, like. but this brand of Kuji is not by uh, Ban Presto. It's this not by is by another brand. I'm not sure which one is it, but this is pretty good prizes. It could so, be their own brand though. Yeah, and maybe. It, yeah, maybe. And it was going for the same price as regular Kuji. Um, but you could get like pouches, um, like... And the stuffed toy actually looked pretty legit. Yeah, so, and there was yeah. I think like five chances of the stuffed right, toys compared yeah, yeah, to the one yeah. or two with Kuji. So yeah, so if you guys come across this one. Yeah, but 
I think that's pretty cool. Man, <laughs> if you're careful, just like, you're so show that to you guys for a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, other than that, let's kind of move on to a bit of car stuff. Uh, um, yeah. So that, oh, there oh, has this. been, there has been a, um, uh, we went to, uh, let's Sunshine Plaza. play, that's Sunshine Plaza, yeah, and I picked up a couple a of Tomikas. It's a place to go if you want to get, like, um, harder to get Tomikas, like exclusive Tomikas. Uh, Angel asks, are Kuji pricey? Nah, they, they cost uh, about 10 to, 10 to 12. 10 to 12 or $13. Yeah, 12 so, 90 I think some that, of them. Yeah, so. for one try. Mm. That's in Singapore dollars. Anyways, um, so I got myself a couple of um, Tommy cars. And some of them have the new 2018 stickers. So these are released like recently? And Yeah, and, uh. and do you know what I learned recently? No. Um, um, that... These stickers are kind of like the stickers that we have on the Funko Pop. Oh, yeah. In, in a way, Tomicas. in a way. Yes. So they actually determine different prices for the Tomicas as well. Mm. Um, like say these, this for example, this is a Honda Civic Type R FK8 that I picked up. It's a number, it's the number fifty-eight. Um, and apparently the ones that come with the sticker cost more. And there are different releases. Some that are released for the domestic market here in Singapore. Some that are released in Japan. And even the ones released in Hong Kong, and I think all these different places, they cost more. Yeah, but the interesting thing is that the sticker is not on the box, it's right. on the plastic wrapper. So, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I, I guess like you never yeah. open your, your Tomika. So I'm you just gonna keep open it anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna use the hair dryer theory and, and try and get that out. But yeah, uh, let me just show itself. it to you guys really quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, Should I open this um, one? Yeah, sure. Just open not, the one without uh, the sticker. Yeah, not, not this oh, wait, both Yeah, both have this sticker. Oh yeah, these are all three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we'll just have that. How many of you guys are car collectors? How many of you guys collect uh, Tommy cars? I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Angel, the Kuji prices in yes, Singapore are, are quite pricey. If they are. If, if, you're, if yeah. you're getting it from Japan straight, I think it does cost much cheaper. Yeah, I actually they actually do print the prices of the Kuji on the yeah. Kuji paper itself, the price list, the yeah, price and list, and the price is on the price list, which is <laughs> usually like seven, six to seven hundred yen. Yeah. That's um, I think in USD it's pretty one to one, so it'd be six to seven right. USD. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's let's show you guys close up cam because I've got them opened up. Let's show you guys this. I mean, oh, crap. Ooh, Oops. Let me, show you drop you guys. <laughs> Let me show you the box first. So here's the Civic Type R. Um, pretty nice. The box is a little bit damaged already. Though. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares about that, do they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so over here we do have um, the FK8 and Civic Type R. Uh, it looks pretty nice. Oh, Eric! Uh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Anthony collects them as well. And nice. everyone else have the Comfort Blue Taxi Tamika. That's the Prius model, the local Prius model. I'm just pretty surprised that they actually did the. When was that released though? The uh, re recently, earlier oh, this year. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty cool. I, I didn't I didn't buy that though. Um, but over here, FKA, pretty nice. Um, I, I think it's pretty detailed for this range. And of course, look at the, the red yeah, accents on the rims. I like the rims. That's pretty cool. It's almost like a metallic sheen on it. Yeah. So yeah. That's pretty nice. The only Let's thing I realized with Tomika's is that they don't really articulate. Like the doors don't open, the back. Oh, they do. They but do? for some, yeah. Uh, and they even have like a suspension push pack. Oh, kind yeah. Of thing. yeah. Wow. So that's kind of pretty cool. <laughs> that's that, cool. That's the thing with Tomika's. Uh, I think Hot Wheels didn't used to have that, but they've been upping their game quite a lot already since then. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna have you hold the camera while okay. I show them the rest. Um, so I bought another Honda over here. I'm just gonna keep the plastic on. Um, but show you guys the toy on the inside. This is the N-Box. N-Box is a N -box? K car um, that's doing very, very well in the in Japan. Oh, yeah, the Jurassic Park. I, I want to buy that. Where did you buy it from? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to buy that. Yeah. Anyways, uh, um, check it out. The Honda N-Box. Um, and this one has an openable ah, boot. Ah, so this one article is. It's nice how they catch yeah, it, like, so that it nice. stays open. Yeah, but this one has the normal... Um, um, rims that you get with every other uh, Is it focusing? Tomica. Yep, it is. Okay. I don't think the focus button thingy works. Anyway, uh, on the bottom, it actually shows you the, the uh, <laughs> size it's of the thing. It's a bit of an engine. Like so it's 1 to 64 imprint. for this one. It's 1 to 58 for this. Um, so the different scale, you can tell. You can't put them side by side. Technically, um, they're not of the same scale. They're not? Yeah, they are not. But there we go. That's the Honda M-Box. Oh dear. Is the M-Box supposed to be like much smaller considering it's a shaker? Yes, it is. Um, good question. And yes, it is. Um, Alright, moving on. Next, of course. 
we have to have one of these as well once I uh -huh. saw this. So they have two versions available, one a red and one a yellow, but I always thought that the Swift Sport has a better... It looks better in yellow. Yeah, it definitely yeah. looks better in yellow. So, um... Would this have the S on the side? Because I do realise that Swifts do have the S, like the sports version. Is the, is the sticker on the box? No, it's not. I think it's not. Nah, man. The sticker's on, on the plastic, though. Yeah. It's on this plastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not so sure. Yeah, it is. I will figure it out. <laughs> Anyways. Um, over here, we have the Suzuki Swift, which is in the 1 is the 60. Again, a different scale. Um, the doors don't open, but again, the boot opens up like that. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty nice. Look at that. And there's a Swift Spot, so you have your dual exhaust system. <laughs> um, it looks pretty nice. I think the new Swifts definitely look much, fiercer. much better. Yeah, much fiercer than its predecessors. I, I do like the look of the predecessors as well. It's pretty cute. Yeah. I mean, generally, to be very honest, Suzuki cars haven't really let us down in terms of design, element, yeah. and stuff like that. But that is pretty much it for the Tomika. Thank you for letting me walk you through that really quickly. Um, <laughs> yeah. I know the, the main... Market, uh, 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 market isn't um, exactly Tomika's. Yeah, but he's just so yeah. excited when there's cars around. Yes, yeah. I am. Because it's hard to find people that like cars. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but still. Yeah, we're just happy to get this. Um, let's put them back in the boxes first. I'm gonna put them with the rest of the collection. Um, and if you've seen one of the previous Dan Corner, Dan's Corner episode, I did talk about a couple of because that I bought then um, and yeah right now happy to get these um, rule of thumb again if you actually are buying um, die cast cars you won't go wrong buying the Civic Type R's um, they <laughs> generally rise in value oh, so that is something to learn. cool to note um, next up let's hit to um, the final part of the show but so it's a for box this. from <laughs> Evanos <laughs> Yeah, thank really, you so much, really Evanos. Awesome. I just want to show some of the heat. What's that? Oh, yeah, great. Yeah. We're going to grab some of our Inu Harigons over. Yeah, that's because we No, actually, we're going to grab all our Inu Harigons over. Uh, I, I decided <laughs> to grab all the yeah. Inu Harigons over. So, again, um, if you guys don't uh, already know, this mm -hmm. character over here is called Inu Harigon. Uh, it is based on the Japanese um, cultural... Mm. Mm. It, it's okay, so... I think Harigon Hariko. is a paper technique. So Inu is a dog. So it's kind of yeah. like a paper dog that uh, the paper Japanese machine. actually made. It's made. Hariko actually. Yeah, Hariko. Yeah, it's not Inu Harigon. Harigon is this character that, that yeah. is by Teresa Hariko Chiba. Hariko is the paper technique to make yeah. paper mache animals. And so others. I have uh, with me um, two sets mm -hmm. of the VAG series um, um, Inu Harigon um, by Teresa Chiba. Yeah, and... and the recent Beijing Sofu Bee Festival has seen Medicom release with her um, a new set of VAG series and I couldn't, I couldn't get it. So, uh, um, Evanos here um, very nicely offered to help us get one yeah. set and so we did! Um, there's um, some other pretty awesome goodies in the box which we will actually show you guys mm -hmm. in a second. Um, Vinomax says I recently got the Nissan L Grand Road Patrol car from Tommy Car. Nice stuff. Um, there's more patrol cars coming out right up. I, th I think if I'm not wrong. Um, there is a Taiwan edition Evo 10 um, Tommy Car that that's gonna be released soon. I think all already released. I'm not sure, but that's pretty cool. Um, Johnson says how much you bought the Jollibee? It is a secret. It's a Chicken Joy special. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Angel says, is there a 400% fabric of that? Um, yes, the Inu Harigon. We actually have that, but it's downstairs. Um, yeah, yeah, in the display. display. Correct. Display. Um, Alright, so let's just... Oh my god. Let's just see the box really quickly. Um, and open oh, it up. The other side. Oh dear. Yeah. And again, all my Inu Harigons are here. <laughs> so this is actually like two sets of AG. <coughs> yeah. So yeah. the first set um, consists oh, of the Yeez. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think so. <laughs> no, this oh, is yeah, here. This is there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so this was in one set. Um, this is the original set, I think. Of the, the yeah. yeah. So again, this in uh uh you know I was with you. Yeah. The VAG series comes in a Gachapon style kind yeah, of thing. So it's, it's a capsule thing. Vinyl artist gacha. Vinyl artist yeah. gacha. Um, where you spin and you try and get one of these, and the, we actually got a full set in Japan. We did spin for it. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, now the second one, I was actually in Hong Kong. Yeah. Uh, um, um, and I was actually exploring some of the other off the beaten track uh, toy stores, and there was one that I came about that they actually had a full set of these on sale. Um and yeah. This is a Ueno Land exclusive, right? This is the Uenoland, yes, Ueno Land exclusive. Yeah. Whereas uh next up we will have we will actually show you um the um uh, what's that? The Beijing Sofubi Festival exclusive. It's actually done in conjunction with another um company, another mm -hmm. toy company. Um but there they, they even it didn't even come to with the yeah, it even comes to the, the, the capsule dolls as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, hang on, let me just show you guys this. Um, so that's kind of where, what it's from. Um, produced by, can you read that? I can't read this. Produced by, no I can't. Anyways, it is sort of like a um, um, yeah, collaboration that they've done with both. Uh, with, with Teresa Chiba, Beijing Sofu Bee Festival. Uh, yeah. And yeah, that, that's it. That's the different colors that we'll get actually. Yeah. The company under Teresa Chiba is called Production Gamble. Yeah, production yeah. gamble. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, let's open it for now, <laughs> so that you guys can see that. Uh, and of course, there's always joy that uh, let's take. <laughs> and there's always joy in opening uh, capsules, capsules, but you already know what you're getting. So, <laughs> ooh, some of these cars are pretty nice. Oh, by the way, um, this special, ah, this special one that's um that was uh, made for the Beijing Sofu Bee Festival is actually the theme for Inu Haragon is actually fruits, summer oh, fruits. Oh, that makes yeah. sense! So you actually see a lot of very fruity colours yeah. uh, um, um, being done with this. So we'll, we'll actually rock it through the, with you guys in a second. Um, it, what, maybe on hindsight we should have opened this first before <laughs> the stream started. But still, it is a joy to open stuff like that on camera with you guys. Ah. Oh dear. I'm struggling. <laughs> I cannot, I can't. Brute force does not yeah, work brute, brute force does gacha. not work, yeah. <laughs> Ta gacha, tapes on gachas are bulletproof. Yeah. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> um, before we move on to the rest, I'm still very excited for this. Thank you, Evernotes. I, ah. I think it's my favourite colour. Really? Yeah. Alright, let's open them up first. Alright. Yeah, whilst we so that you guys get a better view of that. Um Johnson says people in the Philippines are selling it for two thousand pesos. Uh, um, I know for a fact that it, it, it was released for I think um, six hundred and fifty. Yeah, I think okay. so. But I'm not that, that excludes the um the chicken I think. Yeah, oh yeah, and it because, comes with chicken. Yeah, when you purchase it from the Jollibee store, um, if you miss the previous releases at the APCC, yeah. uh, right. it's the APCC. Yeah, it's, um, co uh, the it's, it's, it's a comic convention. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you have to purchase um, your Jollibee pot with some yeah. chicken joy. Right. Yeah. It's it's okay though. I think it's worth a chicken joy purchase. Yeah, at well. least you. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's take a closer look at um, the new Beijing Sophie Bee Festival line. I can tell definitely for sure this is grapes. Yeah! Right? <laughs> uh, and then it has a very, <coughs> very bright eye colour. Yeah, I'm not really digging the purple and purple, but yeah. It's okay. At least I mean, it's metallic. Previously though, they did have another purple. Yeah. Um, but it looks kind of different, so whatever works, right? Mm -hmm. um, moving on, we actually have this, which is sort of like a... Uh, I think it's a citrus colour. Yeah. Like lime is. and orange. But it's, re it's quite nice though. Yeah. It's very vibrant. It is a very vibrant I, I don't think there is like actual colourways of this one. I'm not very sure of the full version. Yet, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing yet. I mean, we are still not sure about that. Uh, over here is a very cherry-like... Um, tomato cherry-like colour, of course. Yeah, I think it's tomato. With the black accents. Yes. Nice. <laughs> I, I quite like this one. Yeah. Uh, moving on. Mm, this is kind of like a summer pop colour. Oh yeah. Yeah, like a beach beach ray colour. That's... I like I this love the colour. Yeah. yeah, this is my favourite. Yeah, um, it kind of contrasts really, nice really, ones. really well with the... Uh, I won't say well, but it does contrast a lot with the pink colour. Watermelon, that's right. Oh, that's true. No, this one. Yeah. 
Oh, this is watermelon. Yeah. That's right. With the seeds color. Cool. Yeah. Mm. And um, lastly, sure apple what... probably. Oh, that's true. It just give me the, the yeah. sense of the apple. Look. The red and green of the apple with the inside flesh color of page. Uh, yeah. No, it's off-white. Yeah, off-white. Off-white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is pretty nice. Yeah. Um, But yeah. Thanks for sh uh, uh, sending that to us, Evans. Also, in the rest of the box, we actually do have some other awesome stuff. So let's see what else we got. Um, what what you looking for? The note. Notes here. You, oh, okay. you put it here yourself, man. <laughs> um, we have a Fuchiko san. That's pretty cool. Uh, I, I do like this version of Fuchiko san because she's also in that summer gear. Oh, that is! Yeah, she is. she's looking fat, man. So, in case you don't know, Fujiko would hang on top of a cup. Cup, yeah. yeah. I really like her outfit for this one. She has a like standard blue color. She's always in the office dress. Right. But she's in a summer dress this time. <laughs> yeah, awesome summer hat That's and nice. slightly darker That's blue colored nice. shoes. Yeah. Um, I don't know where I she don't have a, a... Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that works. <laughs> Let me see if this works. Hang on. Yeah, no, she, it does she not. She has to hook onto a rim of a cup. Yes, so. in the rim of the cup. So yeah. we don't have a cup with us right now. Mm -hmm. On hindsight, we should have, but. <laughs> sit on Inoharuko's lap. Yep, that works. <laughs> okay. Does it work? There a we go. Bit. I think it does, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Um, that's pretty cool. Alright, then other than that, we also have another one. Um, oh, this it. is definitely the summer edition of Fujiko san. Right, so we have Fujiko san in her, in her be beach wear. Yeah, let, let's look at the assortment rate for this one. I don't think there is an assortment rate though. Uh, not assortment rate, but like the other. Um... Okay, let's see. Um, it's called Summer Again. <laughs> um, there's one with her with a towel on. Um, this one that we've got, like uh, of that. course, the one with her hat and uh, all right. Mm -hmm. um, we have a sort bikini. of like a yeah bikini. Uh, uh, um, well, I don't know what's that. Some water. Some, she's probably playing with the water, man. Yeah. And then um, some watermelon one. A, a ah, I do like this. Looks like a matsuri one. Yeah. So like a festival one. And a Hawaii uh, one. And a Hawaii. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. And a secret. Jing jing. Ooh. I can't tell what is that. It looks like a guy there. Yeah, oh no. She's, yeah. she's getting it on. Okay. Um, but yeah, and then we've managed oh. to get two. So it's... This what you go as like... Water. Oh, she is playing with water. Yeah, while wow, she's swelling down, man. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, it's glad to see the, uh, glad to know that she's having fun. Yeah. Uh, in the sun. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, pretty cool. Thanks for thanks for this, Evanels. Um, next up... It's oh. so fine though, these yeah. figures. So detailed and small. The secret is just her playing the ukulele. That's uh, uh, that's cute though. That's that's true. Um, Sorry for Chico San. CEO says, "Oops, I'm late." Hi Dan and Cheryl. Hi CEO. Thanks Hi. for popping in. Um, all right, we have this as well. Jing jang. Uh, no, this. This is a VAG. This is a VAG series, uh, and we haven't actually gotten this yet ourselves. Yeah, um, so we Cheryl, were looking out for it actually. Cheryl's trying to get Very hot, there yeah. you go. Okay. Uh, this one over here, if you... S oh, yeah, that didn't work. Really. <laughs> um, so this one is um, Koi Jarus, or also known as Koi Boss, uh, depending on where you are from. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's by the company toy designers, Take Pico. Now, Take Pico is also known as, um, I think it's one half of the Pico Pico, ah. which does the Keronga... VAG series. I think it sounds like I'm saying a lot of nonsense <laughs> yeah. words, and I might. You would fool yeah, everyone. Yeah. But this this is um, Koi Jarus. Uh, uh, he is also from VAG series two. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. That's old man. I like that though. Is he, he the looks same so creator cool, as Koi's? No, I, no? I just realized it isn't. But ah. uh, uh, I don't know. Upon my research, mm -hmm. uh, it isn't. But I, I'm not sure. They they might have an affiliation somewhere, but I'm really not sure. Yeah. Yeah. But Cool, I, I always thought he had an affiliation with Kois. Ah. Yeah, but um, that's that. I might be wrong. Again, mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm still not sure. That's not much uh, 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 information I could find. But very nice color. Yeah, it's like a silver that. streak on the back. I so like the gold cool. accents on the fins. Right. Yeah. Pretty nice. And that's that. Thank you for providing that um, for us then too as well. Everyone's. Uh, next up, what we have here is kind of a, um, it's from Kid Robot. 
um, from the Dark Harbor yeah. um, series of blind boxes. <laughs> Evelos, you have so much knowledge on toys. Yeah, look yeah. at that. This one here is the... Uh, he has a similar colorway to this guy. Oh, over hey! Here. <laughs> they look pretty cool yeah. uh, side by side. Yeah, and this guy with this guy, except no green accents. Alright, that's true. Yeah. Um, so that's a turtle in the coffin. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. Whoever thought out of the design. Ah, yeah. I think uh, we do have the names of them. Uh -huh. Evelos actually wrote a note to us to tell Explain us. Explain the toys. Yeah, <laughs> what, what, what they are. Yeah, I, I don't like the wings on the coffin. Um, so Brent Peters and uh, Katie Olivia's um, from Kid Robot's Dark Harbor series. This is pretty nice. Yeah, the design of which. This Check is very old out. school as well. Yeah. Yeah. He's got his um, fins and, and his head popping out of the coffin. Mm -hmm. so that's pretty cute. His necktie, the red necktie and the like... It's a bow tie. Uh, bone. Yeah. Oh, bow tie, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty nice barnacles though. I, I, I like that, I like that. There yeah. is barnacles on his hat. That's true. And and I mean, as, as with most of the kid robot designs and toys, they are made Very well. um, quite well. Yeah, yeah, it's quite a good... Um, it says... K O B P on the on the feet, um, but pretty nice like that. K O B P Thank is for Katie. Oh yeah, Brand Peters. Peters. That's true. Um, all right, we also have one of these, which I think we should actually just do another episode on this altogether. Yeah, um, it's so cool. Yeah, but thanks for sending this to us. Um, this is a tin bot that's in an orange juice packet. Yeah, this is so cool. Yeah, and um um um. Evelos was also saying that uh, um, the Tim Bot was kind of where um, Philip Lee uh, from Classic Bot, that's where he got his inspiration for the magnetic arms um, that's on his uh, 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 Classic Bot classic. Yeah, I actually recall reading it somewhere where uh, Philip Lee was actually talking about this being one of his favorite toys as well yep. and giving inspiration to his own creation. So I think it's really, 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 really cool that we got uh, something so old school from this. Yeah. yeah. And this is from a Hong Kong company as well. but. Again, uh, when there is time, I think we, we should jump into another episode to talk about this. Yeah. Um, or a, a quick shot episode as well. And so this is Timbo. very good weight as well. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, they actually have a other range of uh, different types of looks uh, when it comes to the Timbot mm -hmm. as well. So I think those are pretty cool too. Um, but yeah, that, look at that. That's how it's supposed to look yeah, like. Yeah, it really comes um, in a tin case. Yeah. Yeah, inside. All right. And... Um, finally, last but not least in the box, what we also have this Jin awesome Jin. bag of stuff. It is a Molly. Now, this one is actually done with Pop Mart. Um, for the start of this new year, uh, it was a blind box series that I failed year? to get. I wanted yeah. to get it. <laughs> I think I did mention it before as well. But, failed to get this. Um, is this her stand? I'm thinking it's a stand. There yeah, we go. wow. I... Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice. I mean, you've got to love... Oh, dear. Uh, Kenny's... Um, Mo Kenny's uh, Molly's works. series. Yeah. yeah, Kenny's work. That's, that's the name of this. Uh, and, wow, I think they've done really well with the um, 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 design here. Yeah. And there is the, really, really good quality yeah. paint, you can tell. It's quite difficult to get her to stand properly. Yeah, though. maybe because of the light box as well. Oh, the right. Face that's, is not, in, that's not stable. Your fingers in oh, the way. so sorry. Okay. Um, I can see my finger. It's been there for a while. That's yeah. quite funny. Yeah. Where's the Molly? Uh, um, this is very nice. I, I, I really like this. I, I really do hope they continue making more of these for next yeah, year. Yeah, the blind box is not cheap though. Yeah, they are not cheap. Yeah, they are not. Yeah. I think it's about $12 per box or 12 USD. Ooh, yikes. Yeah. Okay, but I really hope that we, we can... Oh. Yeah. yeah. It is not available here in Singapore though. No, it's not. She's got uh, kickers. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, but they, they are not available here in Singapore. I do... I mean, somehow Singapore has a shit ton of Sunny Angel stuff. Yeah. Uh, and not so much the Molly stuff. Yeah, Molly is well known for it. The, like, pouty lips, uh, cheeks, right. super big eyes. That you know? is true. Yeah, and, and she always has like really awesome outfits on. I think this one is probably like the Zodiac for the Bird of Phoenix. I'm guessing. Is there a bird of phoenix in yeah, this area? I'm not sure, but <laughs> I, I, I do see. So. It kind of looks like a phoenix, right? <laughs> it does, though. It does, though. I can't smoke as well as then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I smoke you guys. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this. But, um, yeah. Thank you super, super very much, uh, Evanos, for for, sent, uh, for for giving us like all these cool goodies. Yeah, I, um, I really want to get a, a Molly blind box now. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do want that as well. Yeah. Um, <coughs> yo, uh, oh, 
Angel says they make mini mollies. Yes, they do. Yeah. Um, like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Vanessa says uh, molly blind boxes are a bit cheaper here, and I can nice. get them for you. Ooh, oh, nice. that's awesome. That's true. Twelve USD is cheap considering Funko Minis are seven to ten dollars. That's true. Maybe I got that's the price true. wrong. <laughs> that's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the hands do articulate as oh, well. Oh, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Yeah, the hands do articulate. Yeah. Oh yeah, they do. I, the but they, they well. do feel a bit flimsy if you articulate them a little bit yeah, too much. Keep them in, <laughs> keep them so we're just gonna add them there. Yeah. Is this kind of like our second Molly item that we have? I think so. Yeah. Right. So the first is Erosion Molly that Cheryl owns. <laughs> um, she's rich now. No! Uh, it, was, it was a lucky grab from uh, Instinct Toy when they came um, over in SDGCC last year. Yeah. Yeah. But that being said though, she is trying to let them let it go. As yeah, well. I actually prefer yeah. another colorway, so I probably like um sell that off or trade it off to get another erosion well, That'd be instead. cool. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna see what we can do with that. But mm -hmm. meanwhile, um yeah, I, I think every one of you guys as well, uh, <laughs> um um we you, we probably have conversations uh, outside of yeah. um the stream on the channel as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm just very glad that we were able to to reach out to some of you guys and actually just talk to some of you guys. Yeah, and to feature uh, like the yeah. stuff that you've guys got. Yeah, for us. it, it yeah. really makes the whole experience doing this uh, mm -hmm. um, um so much more. Yeah, fun. we feel really well and, um, looked out for. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but yes, let's all just catch up again. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's all catch up on chat, offline, online. Um, and whatever but thank you so much for dropping into the live stream we're mm -hmm. coming on one hour and we're all running out of steam yeah <laughs> uh, it's time for us to go for lunch soon I guess mm -hmm. uh, and um, yeah um, hopefully you guys will have a great weekend going forward meanwhile do remember to follow our social media channels that mm -hmm. is uh, at rookie collectibles both on Facebook and Instagram uh, we are at rookiecollectibles.bigcartel.com and or if you want to reach us, do DM us any of these places or rookiecollectibles at gmail.com. Yep. Uh, I think I've, I've mentioned everything. Okay, but that is pretty much that. I hope you guys continue to enjoy our content that we provide uh -huh. for you guys. Let us know if you have any yeah. feedback as well, how we can make things oh, better. Yes, for like, sure. Um, any knowledge gaps that you figure out we don't have, you can let us know as well. Yeah. Right, yeah. So that we can clarify in future episodes mm -hmm. or live streams as well. Yeah. Um, but other than that, thank you so much, everyone. Um, here's bye from all of us and Molly. Um, we hope to see you guys. Icon. Oh, yes. in Any human icon. I do like this colorway a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a good one, though. Yeah. Too bad they don't sell it, like... The full version? Maybe there is. Like, individually. No, we, we could get extra to that. Yeah, but, that's true. Yes. Um, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next episode. Um, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.